वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश बुलेटिन द तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑर्डर्ड अ विजिलेंस इंक्वायरी इनटू द कोलैप्स ऑफ द मेडिगड्डा बैराज सीनियर मिनिस्टर उत्तम कुमार रेड्डी रिवील्ड दिस विजिलेंस ऑफिशियल्स एंटर द फील्ड ऑन द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट फर्स्ट a team of vigilance officers went to the engineer in chief's office in hyderabad and conducted searches the high officials present their search the offices of murlidhar rao and nal vekteswara rao on the other hand vigilance officials conducted inspections in the high office named jala sodha searches were conducted in various offices across the state of telangana for more than 2 hours officials from around 12 teams are conducting searches A case has been registered in which valuable computers have gone missing in the irrigation office. Officials say that valuable documents and records have also disappeared. Chief Minister of Telangana A Ravant Reddy met the delegates of Godrej Agrovet Company Limited at the Secretariat and invited the company to make its foray into realty furniture and consumer goods business in the state. He advised the company to promote skill development as part of its corporate social responsibility initiatives. The team expressed an interest in setting up an integrated palm oil processing unit in collaboration with Malaysia based Syme Dabi Balhad in Kammam district. The company already has a presence in multiple goods and services including cooking oil, dairy, agro products, animal fodder, chemicals and veterinary services in the state. The company delegation was led by managing director Iram Singh Yadav. During discussions, the chief minister urged the company to explore huge potential in the fields of real estate, furniture and consumer goods in the state, assuring support to expand its palm oil and dairy business as well. The Congress government has served a memo to senior IAS officer Irvin Kumar for serious violations with regard to the Formula E race agreement. According to the memo issued by Chief Secretary A. Santhi Kumari, the amount was paid without obtaining the concurrence of the HMDS Board of Directors as well as that of the Finance Department of the State Government. The officer has been asked to give an explanation in seven working days as to why suitable further action should not be initiated for the lapses. The memo has been issued in connection with the conclusion of agreements with Formula E operations for the conduct of Formula E racing events in its season 9 and season 10 in Hyderabad. The official has been asked to explain why the huge financial expenditure of 46 crore rupees plus the tax amount of 9 crore rupees was paid from the Hyderabad Metropolitan Development Authority resources even before the agreement was signed. Arvind Kumar was then special chief secretary Municipal Administration and Urban Development. After the Congress Party came to power last month, he was transferred and posted as Special Chief Secretary, Revenue. The memo was issued on 6th January, the day when Formula E announced cancellation of the second Formula E race scheduled in Hyderabad for 10th February. Telangana Chief Minister Ravant Reddy has concentrated on Lok Sabha elections. He has alerted the party leaders in this direction. He had given few guidelines to the party cadre for the upcoming elections. Ravant Reddy on Monday asked the leaders of his Congress to aim at winning at least 12 out of 17 Lok Sabha seats in the state in the coming elections. Ravant Reddy, who is also the state party chief, asked the leaders to work hard to ensure that the party secure more votes than the votes it got in assembly elections. He held a meeting with in charge ministers of five districts and MLAs to discuss the preparations for the Lok Sabha polls. The meeting was attended by leaders from Adilabad, Nizamabad, 
Medak, Mahbubnagar, and Hyderabad districts. The Chief Minister informed the leaders that he will start visiting districts after 26 January. He suggested Congress leaders from Adilabad make arrangements for laying the foundation stone for a memorial park at the Martyrs Memorial in Indraveli. He promised that the families of martyrs will be identified and they will be provided all the assistance. Revant Reddy said development of assembly constituencies will be the responsibility of in-charge ministers of undivided districts. He told the party leaders that they will be involved in welfare and development works. Congress government has faced an embarrassment situation. A small mistake by few people may cause damage to the entire government. Forms submitted by people to avail benefits under five guarantees of the new Congress government in Telangana were found to be with private individuals at different places in Hyderabad on Tuesday. Individuals were seen carrying bundles of filled-in application forms by the applicants with details like Aadhaar number, ration card, mobile number and house address. A fresh tussle between the Bengal Raj Bhavan and State Secretariat seems to be brewing over the appointment of a member of the West Bengal Human Rights Commission. Sources said that from State Secretariat a file was forwarded to the office of the Governor C. V. Ananda Bose for clearance regarding the appointment of retired Indian Administrative Service Officer and former West Bengal Chief Secretary beside Bandopadhyay last Monday. However, till date, the file has not been cleared from Raj Bhavan's end. The decision to appoint Bandopadhyaya was cleared at a meeting at the State Secretariat last month. The appointment became imperative following the end of the term of the erstwhile member Naprajit Mukhopadhyay, a retired Indian Police Service Officer and the former Director General of State Police. The Bhartiya Janata Party, BJP, has made a new accusation about the purported excessive expenditure on Delhi Chief Minister Irvin Kejriwal's official residence. The Bhartiya Janata Party, BJP, claims that more than 29 crore rupees has been spent just on civil work at the Chief Minister's official residence. According to BJP National Spokesman Sambit Patra, the information was obtained under the Right to Information, RTI. Sambit Patra, a BJP spokesperson, made a claim on social media. He wrote, Proof that Irvin Kejriwal wants his personal development at the cost of Delhi's development. The RTI reply received from the Delhi government shows that 29 crores 56 lakhs 35,074 rupees was spent only on civil works at the Delhi chief minister's residence. According to the RTI paper shared by Sambit Patra, the Delhi government gave this reply on 29th December 2023. The application was filed by Ajay Basudev Bose, a resident of Amravati, Maharashtra. In this, details of the expenditure incurred on civil, plumbing, electrical, sewage, and carpentry works in the official residence of the Chief Minister of Delhi between 31 March 2015 and 27 December 2022 were sought. Besides, a list of contractors from whom these works were done was also sought. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV every day. This is Mahima, signing off. Keep watching Swatantra TV.